Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today I have a new bag of bubble wrap. Yay! And, well, it's what's inside that's important. We have here a baggie of resin bits, and this is from Hysterical Games, who I believe no longer even exist, but their Panzerfaust game. And Panzerfaust was a interesting take on both the Weird War and typical fantasy tropes. So this is the Orc Command set, and there are a lot of parts here. A lot, a lot of parts. And the dogs are now running around barking. There's nobody here, dog. There's nobody there. Shh. Go away. Come back. She's standing at the top of the stairs barking at nothing. Anyway, so this is the Orc Command, and the Orc Command is obviously going to have all of your officers and specialists and stuff like that as I hunt for my officer. Where are you? Okay, well, let's talk about what we do have. Here is the medic. You can see. One thing I really liked about these is they're not the usual decrepit, clankety, clackety, scrapped together, nuts and bolts type orcs. They are rather clean. There is still a bit of that crazy tech going on. So here is their science, mech boy, whatever. Here's one of the orderlies that's supposed to attend to the engineer, tech dude, scientist. You'll see they're actually wearing uniforms. That's because they're actually supposed to be what look like British trench soldiers, which is a little bit more World War I, but whatever. It's okay. And look at this. He's carrying a big vat of tea. Now, unfortunately, I'm not as up as I should be on all of my various World War II trappings. I'm sure somebody out there will correct me. Here's your comms officer. And again, they actually have uniforms on, which is an absolute rarity for an orc. And they all are uniform. Oh, I should point out, he's got a bunch of cups hanging around on him. One of these guys actually is carrying cups of tea in his hand, I want to say. You have to have your requisite weird boy gun. A pair of binoculars. I'm assuming that's for our commanding officer. One of the boys. A more commando looking boy with his big blade. A very primitive looking blade at that. I'm assuming it's a trench tool right here. I mean, like, I, I love all the trappings on their uniforms. Medic with his needle. Ah, here we go. Here's our officer. Step lively now, boys. Right, right, hut, hut. I gotta say, these casts are really nice. And it's, it's just a different look than I'm used to for orcs. You don't usually see orcs looking this clean. And then we have an assortment of guns, carbons, weird, it looks like a rivet gun almost, rifle, officer's pistol, energy coils, we just saw the binoculars, more guns, ah, we do a spot of tea, chaps. Come on, that's awesome. <laughs> you can have all your drunk, rocking, goth boys and whatever. Oh, he's got a cricket bat. Nothing says orkiness like a cricket bat. Um, somebody. Oh, I think this is probably hand for the cannon. I was going to say, maybe he's got a cup of tea. We have a meat cleaver I just dropped. Ooh, some machine gun. Machine gun, whatever. I'm assuming this is probably for the radio operator. Chap holding his teacup. Somebody doing some finger wagon. And that's about it. So we have nine figures and nine bases. These are just regular plain 25 millimeter slot of bases. Yes, yes, that's true. You don't like slot of bases either, do you? No? Okay. Sorry, dog. Anyway, so you get nine bases, nine models. At least I think I counted nine. 
Let's find out to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I will stop counting around the dog. Yeah, there's nine. Nine models plus your cannon. So not a bad deal. I found this for under 20 bucks, which, you know, right here, that's basically an entire kill team. I mean, I'm sure I could kit it out correctly for GW proper, or if you wanted to do dead zone and use those orcs, marauders, or whatever Mantic wants to call them. I mean, you got yourself a nice little set here and just pretend that these are laser pew pew guns rather than, you know, Thompson machine guns or whatever the British were running around with in the early days of the war. I have no clue. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a historical buff. Anyways, I'm going to get those clippers. We're going to get this all snipped up and put together, and we'll take a look at how these orcs shape up after that. So you can see we've got most of our command crew all sorted out and built here. A couple of things to note. We'll just get everybody slowly cleared away here. We'll start with our friend, the scientist engineer, dude. So there actually are two power cords in the pack. This one seems to be for the scientist. The other one, as far as I can tell, is going to go on this cannon thing. You can see there's a port right there. And I have absolutely no idea where it's supposed to attach to. Looking at the tech who is going to be using it, I don't see any plugs or ports on him anywhere. His handle is going to just slot in right there, and unfortunately he does not want to fit on any of the 25mm bases included. Uh, grabbing a random Kingdom Death base I had laying around. He does fit perfectly on a 30 millimeter, so that's what he's going to get mounted on. But obviously, I'm not going to bother attaching either of these two pieces until they are both painted and accessible in that regard. Because otherwise, they're just not going to fit. So here you can see our mechanic, like I said, or engineer, whatever he's supposed to be. Here we have our officer looking very heroic. Some mold lines there that are an issue. And... As is typical of orcs, he's got tatters in his clothing and a big cricket bat, which is a fun little touch. I wish this gun was aiming a little bit higher. I don't know why it's aiming low, but maybe he's executing somebody on the floor. We've got our surgeon. Nice and characterful. Got a bunch of syringes in his pouch there. We've got our machine gunner having a spot of tea with a machete, an uh, old school machete work blade on his back there. Noticing when a lot of them seem to have bayonets or trench tools or something actually attached to their belts. Here is our friend, the T, the Teeman. He's got a knife there, but then he has the bayonet attached as well. That's interesting. I like this guy. He's going to be a fun one to paint. We have our comms officer right here, who I'm assuming had an antenna that's going to have to get replaced now. Not a big deal. You can see he's radio in. He's got the radio there attached. Mold lines to be dealt with that I didn't bother with. Life will go on. We have our sniper team. You've got a spotter with binoculars, and then you have the sniper himself with a scoped rifle. Not so on the spotter. You can see their bed rolls on their backs as well. Very characterful. Very detailed looking models. I gotta say, I'm quite happy with them, how they turned out. But how are they gonna stack up to any other orcs? Well, that is the eternal question, isn't it? Turns out they're gonna be almost the same size. So if you are looking to supplement your regular boys with something a little bit more culturally refined and not as antagonistic or uh, downright bad as some of the other orc models that are on the market. Uh, it is a nice touch. It's something you don't see. Usually, I mean, let's face it, most of the time when you see orcs, they end up as Germans and, you know, something on that side of the battlefield. It is kind of different to see them in more allied style uniforms, so that's kind of a, a neat little touch there. So, unfortunately, with hysterical games no longer in business, it's going to be kind of hard to get a hold of these things. So you are going to have to check the secondary market and scrounge around on eBay and those other types of sites. Um, I have seen there are plenty in distribution. I know Noble Knight has some. So if you're interested, get them while you can. Uh, there's also some crazy, and I literally mean pretty crazy, other stuff in the line. Um, there's the German dwarves. Oh, gosh. 
I think the the Russians had the undead and the Polish Polish I think were the gnomes. So a bit different than your usual weird war two fantasy tropes getting mixed in with uh history there. But overall, I got to say it's a fun little group and I think that given some time, energy and paint, they are going to make a nice fun skirmish squad for whatever game I feel like including them in. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Bye bye.